Oh, right. man, it's another one. What do you got, buddy? Oh, look at that oh. perch. Whoa, dude. Okay, Aaron, don't reel up anymore. Let's swing him in here before he comes off. Look at that one, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> now that's a jumbo, bud. Look at how thick that fish is. Holy smokes, buddy. That's look at that guy. Thick. Look at that. That's... Hang on to him, bud. Well, folks, welcome to the Angler's Experience. Today I'm fishing with my good friend Aaron Howe. This is my videographer's son, Mickey. This is his son. We're gonna be going after some perch. And the reason why we like to go for perch, folks, is because they taste good. We're gonna catch some of these guys drop shotting deep cabbage beds. It's uh, first of August right now. It's about 96 degrees out. We're gonna get some perch and we're gonna go in and have a little fish fry. So you folks stay tuned. This should be a fun show. All right, Aaron, let's put them in the cooler. Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Side winder planer boards. Fight the fish, not the board. Easy loader boat trailers. All boat trailers are not created equal. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Setter Rods, the American way. Pro Fish, quality fish taxidermy that is second to none. And AX Tackle, tackle that will give you the edge. That one, Aaron? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's another, there's another piece of lunch right there. Yeah. All right, buddy, slide him over here. Swing him up in. Yeah, look at how fat that fish is. Even oh, my big old that. sausage thumbs will fit in that mouth. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is. It's a pretty big mouth, folks. I got pretty fat fingers. Got it? Yeah. There's a nice one. Let's show the tape. Raise nice. on him real quick, Aaron, while you're holding him there. Show everybody at home how big these fish are. That's probably about a, I don't know, nine, 10 inch right? 10 and a half inches, almost, almost 11 inches, guys. That's Very a nice. nice perch, nice and thick. Great fillets on that one. He'll go good on the Barbie. All right, let's throw him in the cooler. Good job, Aaron. Thanks. Oh, there's one, Aaron. Oh, man, I'm just getting hammered. That, oh, that's a perch. Ah, there's some oh, more yeah, lunch. That's, that's nice. Look at how fat those fish are. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Yours is on that Berkeley bass minnow, the old standby. This is actually on a Berkeley gulp leech we're working with here today. Oh, get back here, partner. Get back here, Bubba. Man, that is a nice, thick fish. Boy, can you taste the barbecue right now, Aaron? Is that <laughs> going to be good, buddy? Yeah, it is. It's going to be nice. This is one of my favorite things to do with the kids, folks. Get them out here drop shotting, catching perch, smallmouth bass, whatever's going to bite. But our objective is to catch these perch for lunch. Let's throw that guy in a live well. Ready? I can see him on the graph down there, Aaron. Oh, oh you got, got one, buddy. Him. Look at that. The old graph's not lying, is it? No, there he not. comes. All right, buddy. Sling him in here. There he is. There we go. Tell you what, I think you can let him go too, Aaron. He's a little bit small. Yeah. Keep some for next year here. All right, buddy. See ya. Folks, I want to show you something here. The perch were kind of short biting, so what we did, I'm still running the standard size hook, but what we did for Aaron is we took a Aberdeen hook right here, just a long shank Aberdeen hook. You know, the you, you old timers used to hook crickets on those and worms, and that's what they'd use for the panfish. But what we're doing, we're taking one of these minnows right here. And this is just the three inch power minnow. If you folks watch the show, I call them bass minnows all the time because that's originally what they were. But what we're doing is taking and, and just pinching the head off and taking all three quarters of an inch off of that bait. And then what we're doing, this bait's a little bit beat up, but we'll take it like this 
And what we're doing, I'm just taking thread this on there, and all we're doing is putting that hook farther back with that Aberdeen hook, just like that. Because they're coming up behind it and they're kind of short striking today. So Aberdeen hook, cut the bait down, get that hook towards the back a little more, and all of a sudden, start getting fish. All right, Aaron, let's see if we can get some more, buddy. Sounds good. Folks, I want to show you a swim bait on the market that not a lot of you are aware of is even out there. It's called a Matt Lures. This is the ultimate bluegill in a pumpkin seed pattern. Tell you what, folks, paddle tail, very, very lifelike creation, about five inches long. Comes in several different patterns. That's the pumpkin seed. Let me show you the other pattern that I like here, a couple of them. We've got the ultimate female bluegill. Look at the detail in that, folks. Absolutely incredible. Lifelike eyes, fins, the whole deal, the pectoral fins. Here's another one of my favorites. This is a smallmouth bass. They also come in largemouth bass, perch, crappie, tilapia, you name it, he's got a bait that imitates it. And these baits, folks, I tell you what, if you wanna draw the biggest largemouth out of a deep weed bed or a deep dock, that's it right there. You wanna go after some smallmouth or some largemouth or even some pike on some deep weeds or deep rock edges, that little smallmouth bait right there. Look up these baits, folks, Matt Lures. Very, very lifelike, a lot of different styles, a lot of different sizes. Great, great bait to add to your repertoire. Folks, summertime fishing can be real frustrating for a lot of people. And it's not, believe it or not, it's not my favorite time to fish. I prefer spring, fall, even winter time. Um, what happens in the summertime, and the big mistake that people make, and there's one right there, just come on, is that they just, they tend to fish too shallow. And if you watch a lot of the shows that we do in the summertime, I'm always preaching fish deep. That one, Aaron? Came off. And today is a prime example of that. It doesn't matter if it's crappie, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, pike, walleye, you do not want to fish shallow. And what we're doing right now is a prime example of this. The boat right now is in about 22 feet of water. I got a marker buoy out front. And what this marker buoy is doing, when I came to this spot, I was looking for a point that extended out into the body of water. There's one right there, just came off. Out into the body of water, out into this lake. What we've got behind us, we've got a big point coming out that tapers right out. And where that buoy is at is right where it's, oops, there's one right there. You got one, bud? I got one. It's right where it drops in. Let's see what Aaron's got here. There we go, Percherama. That's a smaller one too. We'll turn him loose. On that robo worm. worm. Robo worm's getting hot. So it's doing it. Little, little fella, right there, guys. We'll toss him back. Let him grow up. You all right, buddies. You worm all right? Yeah. Fix you up here. The old ox blood robo worm starting to get hot, isn't it? Robo worm's doing it. Here we go. Anyway, folks, getting back to what we were talking about here, what we've got where my marker buoy's at right here, and I utilize marker buoys a lot in the summertime, and what it is, it's where this point runs out, and it's 22, 23 feet of water right there, and it just drops off. And all the way around this is a point like this. And what's happening, these perch want to be right on the edge of this, and right up against here, where we're kind of casting, Aaron's dropping off the side, I'm casting out, I'm fishing the last cabbage bed before it drops into this deep water. And the other advantage of this is I've got cabbage plus this point. Anytime you can find structure on structure, that's what people are talking about. We've got a big flat, but we've got a point extending way out. And these fish are out here in this deep water. And the big key, you know, a lot of times you'll see guys out fishing in the middle of the lake, you wonder what they're doing. Well, they're pretty dialed on what they're doing because I look at this like when I go to the ocean. When I'm going to the ocean to fish, for big lingcod, rockfish, I'm trying to find somewhere out in the middle of that ocean a big reef out there. It's the same principle here. These fish want to get as far off of the shore as possible in the deepest water where they still got covered with those weeds. So make sure when you head out, it doesn't matter the species, but make sure when you go out, fish that deep water. Your boat should be in 20, 22 feet of water. Shallowest you want to fish, maybe 13 feet of water. All those fish are going to be out here on this deep edge like this. That one, buddy? Another one, yeah. All right. Aaron's tearing it up on the robo worm. That looks like a better one. Oh, yeah. The robo worm. Oh, it's worm. a little really smally. Look at that little smally. Oh, Can yeah. you believe how hard those little guys pull? They fight pretty hard. Don't they? You get a perch that size, and he don't even come close to that. These no, guys just tear it up, don't they? Folks, we're going through a few different lures today. And when you're fishing schools like this, nice little fish, when you're fishing schools like this, 
perch being schoolers just like crappie, if the bite starts to slow down, you want to change up. It's not necessarily because they've left. Um, it's just because they've seen the bait a few times go through there and you want to change it up. And what our pattern is today, that's a robo worm leech right there. Um, that's the three inch version of it, what they call an ox, light ox blood with red flake. And I'm using a Berkeley gulp leech and we're also using the small uh, power minnows, the three inch. And what's happening, leeches, the walleye guys know it well, uh, when it's middle summer like this, 30, 40, 50 feet of water, those leeches start to load up on those humps, those walleye fall them right out there. Same way here, we got this big point coming out, there's leeches down here, the small minnows that have hatched out have moved out into this area also. So we're just gonna take and circle through that pattern, those Berkeley gulp leeches, robo worm leeches, and the minnows. As soon as that bite starts to slow down, everybody changes out and goes to another pattern. Just keep that in mind, it'll keep those fish biting for you when you're on schools. Folks, another key when you come out here, when we pulled onto this little spot, there were some redneck greaves out here diving around and they love pumpkin seed and perch. So that was a key to me that there was probably, oh, there's one right there. That was a key to me that there was probably some good fishing in here because there was a lot of those redneck greaves in here diving. Oh, there's a good one, Aaron. That's nice. Robo worm is starting to really get going, man. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Look at that, there's a chunk right there, bud. But those redneck greaves, folks, you know, just pay attention to your surroundings. And I basically came in, I threw that marker right on that point, and those greaves have been working around that buoy, right around my marker buoy, so I know I'm in the right spot. Another nice fish. Look at that, folks. Look at how wide that is back there. Nice fish right there, folks. I tell you what, they're going to be some good eats. We've got a recipe coming up for you I think you're going to enjoy, so you folks stick around. We'll be eating some of these here pretty soon. Put them in the cooler. That's a good one, Aaron. Look at that fish that stand out. nice. Whoa, man. It's like that one's gonna be nice. Oh, look at that, Aaron. Look at Aaron. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> look at that fish, Aaron. That's great. Whoa! Man, he is fighting. There we go. Oh, look at that one. That is awesome. Isn't that an awesome belly, buddy? Look at that. Yeah. Took the drop shot hook right in the roof of the mouth right there. That's nice. That is a nice one. Look at that, buddy. Beautiful. Oh. There's a belly on it. Built like me, any. Yeah. Feel that. You can feel the food in there. Feel right there. Feel oh, it? yeah. Yeah. Awesome fish. That fish there will go a few pounds. Let's see what he goes here. Get the boat grip out. I'm going to be around three or so, I'm guessing. Two and three quarter. Almost three. Wow. Nice one. Look at that belly. All right, buddy. Let's get you back in the water. Oh, I said another one. one. Yeah. That was pulling good. Yeah. That's looking more like a small, oh yeah, he's pulling good. That one's nice. That's gotta be a small, ain't no perch Has pole like be. that. Uh-uh. No way. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can Man, look at him. Oh yeah. yeah. That one's fine, ah. nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that little dude pull. Nice, That's fat nice. fish. Look at the belly on that fish. There we go. That's far enough, bud. Ooh, he's feisty for his size. Yeah, feels like it. There you go, Aaron. He took the leech. Tell you what, that leech is smoking those smallies, isn't it, bud? Yeah, they are. There you go. That's what those leech, what the bass are taking those yeah. leeches. Pretty fish, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's a nice one. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Good job. Mixing it up today, perch and small mouth. Yeah. We're still after awesome. lunch though, right? Yes. All right, let's go get some more perch. There's one right there, Aaron. Oh, man. Oh, that's no that perch right there. Hard. That's gotta be a small one. Oh yeah, he's head shaking. Look at those head shakes here. Whoa! Look at those head wow. shakes, Aaron. Oh man, this guy is dogging. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Whoa. That's always fun when you're thinking you're gonna get a perch and you get one of them, huh? Yeah. Wow, look at him racing Surprise, around. Surprise, yeah. Oh yeah, nice one, Aaron. That's nice. Isn't that a beauty, buddy? It is. Right there. Whoa, that's a big one. Yeah, 
I have to just grab him, I think. He's really feisty. Look at that, buddy. Wow. That's a nice one. Look at how thick them are. I think that's the nicest one. Heck yeah. He took that robo worm leech, folks. I'm telling you, out here in the summertime, you can't beat small minnows and leeches. That's a nice fish. You probably go around a pound, three quarter, maybe two pounds, maybe. Beautiful fish. Throw him back in there. You just can't beat leech patterns and minnows. I can't stress it enough, especially in the summertime like this, fishing deep. All right, Aaron, let's go get some more, man. Let's do it. Can't beat this, huh? Mm -mm. A fun day with a kid, boy, I tell you what. This is something that I cherish, taking kids out, especially making the shore lunch. This is going to be awesome. Got one, Aaron? Oh, man, I got one. This, one, easy, this one, buddy. It's nice. Is it a good one? Oh. Oh, man, look oh, at this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That one is Look at the size big. of that one, guys. <laughs> now, there's a jumbo for you right there. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that guy. Hang on to him, Aaron. I'll pull the tape measure on him, see how big he is. That is a jumbo right there. Well, you're having good too, buddy. Hit him pretty good with that robo worm. Yeah, on there. man, that robo worm's working good, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing if you just keep switching up, what happens, isn't it? Yeah. Just keep biting. I did three different baits today, and all of them are hot, then you switch it. 12 inch, buddy. Wow. That's a nice one right Pretty there. Nice. Nice one. Well, let's pop him in for lunch. <laughs> nice Daisy. jumbo. Throw him in the cooler. Good job, buddy. Oh, there's one right there, Aaron. Hmm. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got him on a robo worm leech. That's a nice fat one right there. He's got some fillets on him. Oh yeah. Well, okay. he inhaled that. Robo worm. That whole thing. Robo worm leech right there. Ox blood pattern. All right, buddy. Cool. Here's some more lunch. Perfect. All right, let's get him in the cooler. Well, folks, Mickey was getting hunger pains as were the rest of us. So uh, we headed back to the cabin. Uh, we've got 13 perch here. We kept 13. I want to emphasize the fact that we released twice that many. And always keep that in mind. I always hear these stories about pulling five gallon buckets out of them, uh, taking five gallon buckets home of perch and bluegill. If you just take only what you can eat for that day or the next night, those fish are going to be a lot better. They're always going to be around for you. So Aaron and I got some work to do. We're going to clean these fish. And when you folks come back, I'm going to show you a delicious, delicious recipe for these little perch. All right, Aaron, let's get to work. Sounds good. All right, folks, we've got the fillets all done, set out on aluminum foil, and I've just doubled it up. I've kept the skin on these, and I know that's not a normal thing that you do with the perch, but I've kept the skin on for two reasons. One, it's gonna keep them from burning when they go on the grill. The other thing it's gonna do is keep the moisture in because the heat's gonna come up from the bottom, so it'll keep these fish nice and moist. There's only three ingredients here. Four, there's actually a lime that goes in at the end of this, and we'll show you that. But the main ingredients, we got chili powder, mayonnaise, and grated Parmesan tea, cheese. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this mayonnaise right here and we're just gonna take it and we're gonna start spreading it out over the fish. Now what the mayonnaise is gonna do is it's gonna keep the moisture in the fish. And typically with perch, you know, you're always eating it and it's fried. And this is just a, a way to bake it. It's not necessarily healthy when you're slathering on mayonnaise like that, but it's just a little different way to eat it um, rather than having it deep fat fried all the time. So what we'll do here, I'll just slather this up right here and just coat them down good. Doesn't have to get too crazy. A little bit more here. Then once we get these coated, coated down, all right, we're good to go. Okay, like that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your Parmesan cheese right here, grated Parmesan. We're gonna take it my big mitts in here and we're just going to sprinkle it over the perch right here just like so get a nice coating of that on there don't have to get too crazy parmesan's pretty strong and it'll overpower that fish if you're not careful a little bit more this is the other reason why it's good to keep the skin on guys this, this cheese will get down there on the edge and burn and if it's uh, skin on no skin on it'll just make that fish get real burnt. Now what we do for the last thing, we take our chili powder and we just coat it down like this. 
just a good nice coating of chili powder on here. I'm gonna take this one that's done, like so, bring it over here, lay it on the grill. It already smells good and it hasn't even started cooking yet. Lay it on the grill, close it down, and you're looking at medium heat, probably about 15 minutes at the most. These fillets aren't very thick. We don't want to overcook it. That cheese will make a nice little crust with that chili powder on there. You'll be good to go, and then we'll show you how to get those limes onto that fish once this is done. So you folks stick around. Well, folks, we're served up. We've got Mickey. We pulled him from behind the camera. He's not gonna pass up food. He's just like me. We gotta get him back here to get some eats. We got Aaron. We're gonna take our limes and we're gonna finish this thing off. We rolled them, got a juice all out to the ends, split them in half. The guys just squirt a little bit on top of that fish right there. Tell you what, let's see what this is gonna taste like, guys. I know it's good because I've had it before. Good eat. Great. Awesome. Good. Folks, we got garlic bread, corn, this beautiful perch. For dessert, we got key lime pie, which happened to be Aaron's favorite. Hey, what, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. I know I enjoyed getting Aaron out, feeding my cameraman, taking care of my people. I encourage you to get out with the drop shot method in the summertime. Throw the robo worm out, throw the bass minnow out, drop shot up some perch, have yourself a good meal like this. Well, folks, I want to thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week. Let's dig in, fellas. Yeah. Do it.